um, and he was in the wheel before, so Ree's on the range driving, I'm doing the filming. The reason we put Ree on the reins is to show you, you know, it's nothing, when I break horses, it's nothing to do with the strength you've got in your arms or hands, because they're only in soft rubber bits. Also, the fact that, obviously, just mere age alone, Ree is not as experienced as I am, you know what I mean? Um, but... This is their first time in this configuration. That's right, isn't it, really? It is their first time in this configuration. So, you know, I'm very happy with them. You know, I'm happy with Reed's driving, but if Reed can control them, then that's a very good thing, you know what I mean? So it's quite a skillful job to do, the tandem. And, you know... So... all on the other side of the road there and now Reed's going to make the turn into this road end that's a nice turn now so you can see really old Jimmy's out the front that's not going to be his place because he's better as a wheeler carries a little bit more weight in his quarters well, not going to be his place, got to be his place if that's where you want him to be, obviously. But he's just going up there sweet. Now we've got a bit of a problem here because we've got a blind and a motor park right on the bend. So we will have to bring them out so at least the traffic can see the horse, you know, in the front of us, you know what I mean? So there we go, that's good, lovely. So I've got to tell Ree what traffic she's got about her, obviously. It's, um, so yeah, that's real nice driving, really. These are nice, you know, nice ponies, aren't they? Nice little fellas, very obliging. They do the job, doing everything we've asked them to do. And they both do their single work nice. So, so trot them up again, Ruth. Good. So Ruth's quite good, um, I have to say, it, you know, for her age and you know, her years of. Uh, if you look, there's no strain on the bridging on this horse here. If she was doing it wrong, I if the, if the leader was pulling on too much, you're pulling the bridging on this horse, you know, on you. So, no, it's going well. See out the side there, how they're going. Come on, boys, pick it up. Hup. So, yeah, that's quite a nice job. Lovely. We've got this car come on round here a bit fast and uh, never made any attempt to slow up really and was right over outside the road. So, you know, that, we don't mind that, you know, don't get me wrong, but we don't mind that. So that's really, really nice, yeah. So you see him go past them horses. I'm not very good with a camera, you know, and I'll keep getting told off. Um, so, I'm trying to concentrate on the camera and not on what you also doing because the driver's here doing that. <laughs> so, up we go here, going well. And what people do at junctions is they do what they've got to do and what they feel safe, confident and happy with, yeah? So, that's fine. I've got to tell anyone what to do. Um, it's just my belief. Um, so here, for instance, this cars keep coming. Look, uh, he's not made it awkward for us to come through, but he could have slowed up long before. 
some of them have come nearer, even so, you know what I mean, than that. So what Reed's got to do is when we come out on this junction, hello mate, come out on, a, on, a, on this junction, he's got to come over to the right hand side of the road, um, long before she gets to the junction. Yeah, like so now, now you see the line she's taking, that's so she can see what's coming down the hill. And it stops anybody on that particular junction from overtaking us and cutting round, you know, because they think we're going up the hill in front of the pub, you know what I mean? Yeah, so good bit of drive in there. Get up. And when you consider this is his first time out the front and we've done our uh, six and a half miles snows more than that because we put in the in the short block as well, so it's a lot right. more than that. Right. I don't know how much right. more, but it's, how much more is it, Ruth? Really? Uh, sorry, uh, eight, eight mile. Eight yeah, so it's been an eight mile trip we've done. So you know, so this here you can see is quite a, not a tight turn, but you've got to remember this is probably I don't know ten. 30 foot long, you know what I mean? Run. So Run. for a novice driver, that's Run. not bad going, you know what I mean? Really? Well, novice in tandem Run. anyway. Hey! Good practice for me, uh, oh. heavy HGV <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so all going sweet really, very nice. Yeah, so they've done their, their bit for the day. I'm really pleased with what they've done. Drop. Hey! On our way home now, have a nice cup of tea. But they look well, the two horses, you know. Um, what I would say is you're better off with a, a you know, a course. I don't know how they refer to them, but you don't want a fine clip um, like this is too fine, really, because you haven't got much, you know, when you take the coat off like this, you haven't got much padding between that and the harness, yeah? And unlike a saddle, that you you know, you put a cloth under it, etc., you know, a saddle cloth, and um, it's only a very small area, this is pretty touching it all over the place. So, it's best to have what I think they refer to it as being cool, so it leaves the air a little bit longer basically. It just gives a little bit of a little bit of protection. Very, very little, it's not much difference in the length of the air, but it does make a difference to them. I mean these are alright and the main reason they're alright is because they've been here and they've been in harness and, and their skin's used to having the harness where it is. But you know, obviously a, a little bit more air is not a bad thing to have, a little bit more coat, I should say. So we're going up here nice now. Hey! <laughs> yeah, that's a nice bit of driving by anybody's standards. You know, you've got to remember these horses have never been in this configuration before. They've done single pair, and now they're doing their tandem work. Well, that's the first time for that horse out the front, Jimmy. And Chew, as I say, has got these lovely straps coming up. You see the trace there knocking his lips. Now you can say to me, well, don't put it away then. Don't do that. No, do that. For me. For me. You know, how I see it. That's a good thing to do. Because if anything, you know, did tap him on the face when he was going round, well, he's had that all the way round. Yeah? And I think that's the lovely thing, and he hasn't reacted to it. In actual fact, he's just started in the last, you know, five, six hundred yards, starting to play with it. So you see there, he's putting his, he's putting his head down and letting it come up and, and purposely rub his head. Whereas before, he was trying to avoid it. Let me tell him steady. That's it, lovely. And you look, see the bridge is not being squashed on. He also wants to canter in the front. 
which tells me, and these have only got rubber bits in. I know people don't believe it, but they've got rubber bits in, but they're off the voice. That's how we train our horses, more off the voice. The, the, the bit is there only to indicate, indicate, not to force them into stopping, turning left, turning right, backing up. It's there to indicate what you want. So what Reed's going to do in a minute now, yep. is she's going to get up on this bit of ground now, and she's going to stop them. Whoa. And then what she's going to do okay. is just ask them to come, come back. back. Come back. Lovely. Whoa. Now, what done. she's just done there is beautiful. It's the first time she's back to um, a, a tandem up. You know, she drove four in hand. But I think it's, a, it's your first time driving a tandem? Yeah, first time driving a tandem. So it's more difficult because you've got them horses come, horse out the front's got no partner, oh. nothing with him. Oh, Let that go. There it go. That's it. Okay, there you go. That's it, good. Oh. Also, the other thing is, she's not having, also oh. the other thing is, not having oh. the best oh. of times here because these reins, I'm just going to pick them up and show you, a one grip rein and one ordinary webbing rein. Um, we're still waiting for our reins to come back. I'll, I'll drop one on the ground and fresh shot all stood on it and stood on it and split it straight in half. So, you know, so we had to go and, you know, send it away to get it repaired. But when you've got two reins of the same, it's much better. You can say to me, well, you have got one rein because it's coming round and you've got clamps on, but if you have to use the other rein and bring it into use, it's a real nuisance. So, yeah, for Reese, first time, and for this horse being out the front for the first time, put me in this drop of water here, Reece. So I've just said to her, bring them over and get them to go through this puddle. It's a hard thing to do in a tandem. Yeah, that's all right. More or less, that's good right. enough. Just skip very, you know, very, very close to it. Didn't get them actually in, but it is awkward to do in a tandem because you, you know, you, you, it's quite a high bank there, and your wheels mount the bank, you know. So, all in all, and the cameraman today is a highly skilled cameraman on the. Say it, then, highly skilled. Highly skilled cameraman. <laughs> Come on, boys. Up. So my little mates driving these, I think that's a lovely job. First time for uh, Jimmy out the front, and first time for Rio on the reins on this on a tandem. First time driving a tandem. I thought she'd done it, but you know we drive so many horses you get, lose track of it, you know. First time she has been, been behind anything actually. And having taken out the front of him, so he's a, a first both times round. He's been in the lead in a team the other day, but he's never had something right in his face, as it was, you know, or a bum in his face, put it that way. So there you go. All good, really. You see her kicking back? So it's Ree's lunatic, it's not a horse, it's actually certain type of crackers. It's just come up there kicking and bucking and squealing. I don't know, I don't think she was saying I can do that. See it going there, like the lunatic. Then what are you doing driving somebody else? Yeah, why are you driving someone else? Why can't I come and play? And he's just there, look. Like 